Want to know why you get that sleep crusting discharge stuff in the corner of your eyes when you wake up in the morning? Keep watching to find out. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, eye makeup health, a lot of different things, all related to eyes, of course, and a little glimpse into my life as a doctor mom. So if any of that interests you, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment just to hit that subscribe button and the bell button for notifications, and just comment on the videos that you find interesting so I know what type of topics that are fascinating to you. All right, let's get back to the topic at hand today. That crust in the corner of your eyes when you wake up in the morning. Now, some people call it sleep, it's discharge, you can call it sand. In Hawaii, they call it makapia pia. I had to learn a new word when I started practicing here 13 years ago. Whatever you call it, you know what I'm talking about. You wake up in the morning, sometimes your eyes are even stuck together with that discharge and it just feels gross. So is it normal to have that sleep, sand, salt, whatever you wanna call it in the corner of your eyes? Yes, it's completely normal. Basically, your body is always making tears throughout the day and at night. And your tears aren't just made up of water. They're made up of a layer of oil and fat. There's different glands that make all three layers of your tear film. Well, during the day, your eyes are blinking away that tear film so that it doesn't accumulate. But guess what? At night, you're not blinking. Your eyes are closed. So those tears, that mucus, that oil accumulates and it, it tends to accumulate in the corner of your eyes. So a healthy, normal, functioning eye is going to accumulate the salt, this mucus, the water in the corner of the eyes just when you wake up in the morning. That is natural. Typically, it's going to be a white or a cream or off-white color, normal. Now, when does it become abnormal? There's a couple different reasons that you might have cause for concern. If the discharge, if that sleep turns out to be a greenish yellow color, that could be a sign of infection. You could have something called conjunctivitis or in layman's terms, pink eyes. Now, pink eye can be caused from a virus or a bacterial, but you wanna make sure you get that checked out. If you've got continuous tearing and discharge throughout the day, not just in the morning, then you need to make sure you make an appointment with your eye doctor so they can assess if you need to be on any kind of antibiotic or if you really need to be practicing strict hand hygiene because a lot of conjunctivitis is super, super contagious. So the best thing you can do is wash your hands, wash your bed sheets, your towels, your linens, all in hot water. So if it takes on a different color, it might be a sign of pink eye. Allergic conjunctivitis is another cause for an increase in the amount of sleep that you get in the corner of your eyes. Now, there's a lot of things that you might become allergic to at nighttime. The down from your down pillows or your down comforter. Dust mites, especially in pillows and in rugs, wool rugs, and in comforters. Did you know you're supposed to actually wash your pillows? Not just the pillowcases, but the pillows themselves. There's a setting on your dryer for that. That was life-changing for me. It really improved my allergies a lot. But allergic conjunctivitis can increase the amount of discharge in your eyes so that you wake up and your eyes might even be stuck shut together because of that amount of discharge, which is just a lot of trapped mucus and debris. Dry eyes might also cause an increase in tears at nighttime. Now, I just told you that your eyes are closed when you're sleeping, right? So you would think that your eyes can't be dry. Well, there's a small subset of people that actually sleep with their eyes a little bit open. Or if you have, like I do, a fan in your bedroom, that circulating air can actually dry the surface of your eyes out. So oftentimes people that are prone to dry eyes might develop more extra discharge and sleep in the mornings because it's their body's way of trying to lubricate more tears at nighttime. And then the last reason for sleep in the eyes is something called blepharitis. It's inflammation of your eyelids. So we've already talked about infection and allergies. And blepharitis is actually probably one of the most common reasons to have an excess amount of sleep. 
as I said before, a little bit of sleep in the eyes is normal. It's just kind of mucus, skin, I know, dead skin cells. It sounds kind of gross, but that's what it is. And layers of tears just kind of trapped in the corner. But if you have inflammation of your eyelids, oftentimes what can happen is that the oil glands of your eyelids that are producing the oily layer for your tear film, they get blocked up. And when they get blocked up, then your eyelids themselves get inflamed and it can cause them to make an extra amount of oil or a thicker secreting oil than is typical. All of that means that when you wake up in the morning, your eyes might feel a little more sticky than they do typically. Now remember, a normal amount of sleep is good for your eyes. It helps lubricate the surface of your eyes and it keeps debris and particulate matter out of your eyes. So when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you wanna do is not just dig in there with your finger to try to get rid of all of that sleep. That can actually cause something called mucus fishing syndrome. There's an actual word for it. And what happens is if you're digging in with your finger, you're irritating the really soft pink conjunctiva areas of your eye. And then it makes your conjunctiva make more mucus. You guessed it. So the more you fish out the mucus, the more your body wants to make mucus. And then it sets you up on this cycle. So don't just rub it away with your finger. The best thing to do is to get a washcloth with warm water and gently apply it to the eyes and use a little bit of traction to loosen up any dirt or mucus that is adhering your lashes together. That's going to be the most hygienic and effective way to clean your eyelids in the morning. Don't use your fingers, please. This is also a good way to clean it even if it does tend to be an infection. You just don't want your hands touching an infected eye and then spreading that either to your partner, your kids, or your coworkers. So you always want to be really mindful about touching your eyes in general and especially if you feel like you might have an infection or inflammation ongoing. So you will want to see your eye doctor if you feel like you might have blepharitis because there are other treatment options that we might recommend other than just good lid hygiene. But most important, make sure to clean your eyelids really well at nighttime, especially if you are wearing makeup. You want to make sure to get all of that off. It's not just your mom's old wives tale in this front. You do need to take off and remove really well all eye makeup before going to bed because if you keep your eye makeup on, a lot of that is oil based and it's going to just trap the particulate matter. It's going to just fester. It's a breeding ground for bacteria and it's going to make your blepharitis worse. It's going to exacerbate the amount of sleep and discharge that you find in the morning. And it's just not good for your eyes. So practice good lid hygiene, clean your sleep away with just a nice wet, warm washcloth. And if the character or the amount of discharge starts to really change, and it's not just a small amount in the inner corners in the morning, but it changes color or the quantity changes, then you definitely want to check in with your eye doctor. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them below and I will take a look. And until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. I will see you soon.